any other ideas you guys got on these charts? Um, so just the fact that even if it went below the the support of of well, I haven't looked at the chart. I had eighty one fifty. Um, even though it went down all the way to seventy eight, that's still okay to you know to still look at it as support, even though it went below it like a lot. I would say that it went below it, but it didn't close below it. In okay. fact, it probably closed somewhere around. I see. Yeah, probably Looking closed somewhere around these eighties, seventy nine eighties. I mean, um, so yeah, I would say that it's probably still bullish, and probably bullish back to okay. those bare minimum eighty eight to nineties, that minor level, um, is probably where it's bullish to. But I mean, if you want to wait patiently for a bounce off of your main level right around these 80 175s to 82s um sure i would i would think that that's a decent area in fact i probably should move this back to where i had it prior which was 8175 there you go yeah so i mean someone could look at this as it potentially could go down but this is a lot of support it would have to break through um, now, if the price tends to hold somewhere right between this level, somewhere right around these 88 to 90s, that minor level that you guys have had on, then it's a uh, it's it's worth you know maybe looking for a short. But it's it's hard for me to want to even short down here unless we're cleanly below the level. That would mean that we got to get underneath this area and reject it a couple times and then go down further. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, if that's not happening, then I'm probably still going to be strongly bullish back to the upside. Because given that the market is in a strong bullish run uh, and trend, this level here, main first that main level, uh, not to mention you got another level sitting right down here, which I believe that's probably the area that it touched. So two areas, you see those two areas that we just marked off? Mm -hmm. That's your support oh, zone. That, that was like my 79 yesterday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so those are two main levels that uh, the market really got to break down through. And it, if it doesn't, then it's going to pop right back up and at bare minimum, retest the middle. Retest the middle. So you may get a couple touches, you know, of support before it tries to retest the middle of that. But we'll see. We'll see what actually happens here if we get the, the trades off the way we want to see it happen. And uh, <clears throat> I am looking for a bullish run back up, maybe about 8 to 10 points. So that's going to be my trade idea for the S&P for tonight.